Okay, what we're going to do now is have this ball fall into the snow and make an indent in the snow. And I'm going to show you what you're going to need to do to have that done. First thing, select this plane that I put under the snow. Go to soft rigid bodies, create passive rigid body. Select the ball, add a gravity field, then first select the particles, particle node on the snow, then select the ball, go to particles, make collide. Okay, now that we've done that, let's run the simulation and you'll see it's running through the ground. And what we do to solve this is to grab the particle node again, grab the ground plane, and go to the particles, make collide. Alright, let's run the simulation. Oh no, we got more problems. Okay, let's fix that. Okay, what we need to do... Go to the falling object, go to geo connector, take down the resilience to zero, then let's run the simulation again, but we're still getting some more jump up because it's sticking to the object. We're going to fix that by going back to the geo connector of the falling object. Go to friction and bring the friction up. And that should work pretty well. Let's see. How's it going? Okay. Next step. We need to bring down, get rid of that bouncing. And now we we need to remove bounciness on the ground plane. Let's go to the ridge bodies so one, go to the bounciness, and just turn it all the way down on the ground plane. Then let's see how that goes. See that looks a little bit better. If you want to get more on the rigid ball. Stop the simulation. Let's go to the rigid bodies. You can tweak it, like make it 0.3. Let's make it a little bit less. There you go.